Her. His family continuing to ask for strength from the community. This week has been a long one for 10 year old Brayden Eidenshake and his family as they stay by his side, continuing to hold on to any hope. We were given like this much hope. Um, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to run with it. These are the words of Brayden's mom from a Facebook video that she updated on Saturday. The video explaining the options Brayden's parents received after his heart began failing. Possibly removing him off of life support in the next few days. We were given options to write it out, which come with risks of having a stroke, with him bleeding more, with him putting through pain. We were given an option of um, one of the VADs, which he would need two VADs, one for the right side, one for the left side, and um, the chances of Brayden living in the hospital. Yesterday, Brayden underwent a procedure to help remove clots that were found in his lungs. A recent update on Brayden's Heart Facebook page says he just needs some rest after the procedure. Today is Fight Like Brayden Day, and the family has encouraged the community to wear red or their Brayden Braveheart t-shirts to show support and strength. Of course, they wanted to do something positive, and so what better way um, than to host a blood drive to give the gift that keeps on giving. This week, the community was encouraged to donate blood in Brayden's name, and a local cafe is also supporting Brayden. We decided we wanted to see what we could do to help out with Brayden because we found out that Brayden's favorite place to eat when he wasn't feeling good was to come here with his aunt and he liked our grilled cheeses and this is just one of his spots that he really enjoys and so we wanted to give back to him in some way that we could. The Broken Yo Cafe will be donating 